Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is 3 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of a this is equal to 35 so what is the value of a given that a is an element of natural numbers so let's provide a solution from here now we can express 3 to the power of a as 3 to the power of a raised to the power of 1 then plus 2 to the power of a this can be expressed as 2 to the power of a raised to the power of 1 this is equal to 35 then we can express 1 this is the same thing as 3 over 3 so that now we have 3 raised to the power of a raised to the power of 3 over 3 then plus 2 to the power of a raised to the power of 3 over 3 this is equal to 35 now this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m so in this case we have 3 to the power of a times 3 over 3 this becomes a over 3 raised to the power of 3 then plus 2 raised to the power of a over 3 raised to the power of 3 this is equal to 35 now the next step is that we can let 3 raised to the power of a over 3 be equal to x and we can write 2 to the power of a over 3 be equal to y so that now we have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 this is equal to 35 and we have that x comma y these are element of natural numbers. X to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. That we can express as a plus b. Then we have a square. That is a square. Subtract a times b. Then plus b to the power of 2. So applying this identity. Then here we have x plus y multiplied by x to the power of 2 then we have subtract x times y then plus y to the power of 2 this is equal to 35 we have that x plus y this is rest on x to the power of 2 minus xy plus y to the power of 2 so the next part here is to get the prime factors of that 5. We have that 35 multiplied by 1. This will give us a value of that 5. We have 1 times that 5. This again will give us a value of that 5. We have 7 multiplied by 5. This will give us a value of that 5. And 5 multiplied by 7. This will also give us a value of that 5. Now. We have that x plus y should be less than x squared minus xy plus y squared. So here we have that 5 is greater than 1. So this violates the condition here. So this is rejected. So this is rejected. Then 1 is less than that 5. So this satisfies the equation. Let's call this case 1. And then we have 7 is greater than 5. So this again violates the condition. So this is rejected. And then we have 5 is less than 7. So this satisfies the condition. We can call this case 2. So we have case 1 and case 2 here. So let's start with case 1. Now, in case 1, we have that x plus y. Then we have x squared minus xy plus y to the power of 2. This is equal to 1 multiplied by that 5. So this implies we have x plus y, this is equal to 1. And on the other side we have x squared minus xy plus y squared, this is equal to 35. Now from the first part here, which is x plus y, this is equal to 1. Let square on both sides, so that now, here we have, let us span this. This is the same thing as x to the power of 2 plus 2xy then plus y to the power of 2, this is equal to 1. 1 squared is 1. So that now, from the first part here, 
which is x to the power of 2 minus xy plus y to the power of 2. This is equal to 35. Then we have x to the power of 2 here. Then plus 2 xy plus y to the power of 2. This is equal to 1. So from here, let's subtract these two systems of linear equations here. So that x squared minus x squared, this is equal to 0. Minus xy minus plus 2xy, this is minus 3xy. Then y squared minus y squared, this is equal to 0. Then 35 minus 1, this is equal to 34. So we have minus 3xy, this is equal to 34. So let's divide both signs by minus 3. And this implies that x, comma, that is xy, this is equal to 34 divided by minus 3. So we have that xy, this is minus 34 over 3. And this is not a natural number. So this is not a natural number. So this implies that case 1 is rejected. We have that case 1 is rejected. Now, let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2 from here. In case 2, we have x plus y into the parentheses. This is x to the power of 2 minus xy plus y to the power of 2. This is equal to 5 multiplied by 7. So we have x plus y, this is equal to 5. On the other side, this is x to the power of 2, subtract x, y, then plus y to the power of 2, this is equal to 7. From the first part here, which is x plus y, equal to 5. So let's square on both sides from here, so that now we have, let's span this, this is x to the power of 2, plus 2xy, then plus y to the power of 2, this is equal to 5 squared, which is 25. Now, then we have this part here, which is x to the power of 2, minus xy, plus y to the power of 2, this is equal to 7. Now, we have two systems of green equations here, so let's subtract these two systems of green equations, x squared, minus x squared, this is equal to 0, 2xy minus minus xy, this is 3xy, then y squared minus y squared, this is equal to 0, then 25 minus 7, this is equal to 18. So we have 3xy, this is equal to 18. So let's divide both signs by 3. And this implies that x, y, this is equal to 18 divided by 3. And this is equal to 6. Now given that x plus y, this is equal to 5. Then we can make from here, we can make x to be the subject of the formula. So that x is equal to 5 minus y. So let's substitute this back to this equation here. So that we have 5 minus y multiplied by y. This is equal to 6. Now let's expand this equation here. 5 times y. This is 5y minus y times y. This is y to the power of 2. This is equal to 6. So now let's rearrange this equation. We have minus y squared plus 5y. Let's take 6 on the left hand side. So this is minus 6. This is equal to 0. So let's divide both signs by minus 1. Minus y squared divided by minus 1. This is y to the power of 2. Then plus 5y divided by minus 1. This is minus 5y. Then minus 6 divided by minus 1. This is plus 6. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation here that you can solve by factorization method where we have product is equal to 6 and the sum is equal to minus 5. So let's identify two factors. If we multiply these two factors, we get a value of 6. If we sum these two factors, we get a value of 
minus 5. So these two factors, these two factors, we have minus 3 and minus 2. Minus 3 times minus 2, this is equal to 6. Then minus 3 plus minus 2, this is equal to minus 5. So let's substitute this so that we have y squared minus 3y minus 2y plus 6. This is equal to 0. So we have got two part A. From the first part here, y is common. So we have y into the parentheses. This is y minus 3. Then minus 2 is common here in the second part. So we factor out 2 so that we have y minus 3. This is equal to 0. So y minus 3 is common here. So we have y subtract 3 multiplied by y minus 2. This is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. That is y minus 3. This is equal to 0. And we have y minus 2, this is equal to 0. So this means that y1 is equal to 3 and y2 is equal to 2. Now, we can solve for the corresponding value of x1 and x2. Remember, we have that x is equal to 5 minus y. 5 minus y. So we can substitute here. We have x1 is equal to 5 subtract y1, which is 3, and this is equal to 2. And we have that x2 will be equal to 5 minus y2, which is 2, and then we have this is equal to 3. Now we have x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 3, y1 is equal to 3, y2 is equal to 2. If you recall, if you recall, we have seen that we read 3 to the power of a to the power divided by 3. This is equal to x. And we have that y. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of a over 3. As you can see here, 3 to the power of a over 3. This be equal to x and 2 to the power of a over 3 be equal to y. So let's substitute the values of x. So we have 3 to the power of a over 3. This is equal to x1, which is 2. And again, we have 3 to the power of a over 3. This is equal to x2, which is 3. Now from the first part here, you can clearly see that the bases are not common here. The bases are not common here, so this will not give us a natural number. So the first case here is rejected, so this is rejected. On the second part here, we have 3 to the power of a over 3. This is equal to 3. Remember, 3 is raised to the power of 1. Since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n. This is equal to a to the power of m. Since the bases are common, exponent n should be equal to m. So applying this property, then we have a over 3. This is equal to 1. So let's multiply both signs by 3. And this yields that a is equal to 3. The value of a here is equal to 3. Now, if we check with the corresponding values of y, we have here y is equal to, y1 is 3, so we have 3 is equal to 2 to the power of a over 3. Then y2 is equal to 2, so we have 2, this is equal to 2 to the power of a over 3. Again here, the bases are not common here, so this will not give us a natural number, so this is rejected. But here we have 2 is raised to the power of 1. Since the bases are common here, exponent, that is 1, is equal to a over 3. So we multiplying both sides by 3. This implies that a is equal to 3. So we have the value of a equal to 3, as you can see. So let's check if this value of a here satisfies the equation as follows. 
Now let's take this value of a here satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that 3 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of a. This is supposed to give us a value of 35. Let's substitute a which is 3. So we have 3 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 35. 3 to the power of 3, this is 27, then plus 2 to the power of 3, this is 8, this is supposed to give us a value of 35. 27 plus 8, this is equal to 35, which is equal to 35. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of a, which is equal to 3, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.